I'm like, damn, she's fine. Wonder when she'll be mine. She walk past our past rewind. See that as one more time. That got the soul. What's up, guys? It's Capamura, and it's a wee bit j j j j j j chilly. It's kind of cool. In the last episode, I was I talked about Donald Trump. I'm over that motherfucker. Uh, and we saw a bike crash. He, uh, you know, Harley guy took a flop. After I got off the, the, uh, oh, look at that. There's an island in the middle of the reservoir. After I got off the camera with you guys, started trying to practice how to wheelie. I used to wheelie a lot. My quads when I had ATVs. Ooh, I see a Mr. Police Officer. He's chilling. I got to see Mr. Police Officer. I better slow down, cause he's just chilling. Not doing his job. He's being a dickhead. So yeah, I used to be able to wheelie when I had quads and ATVs. When we had quads and ATVs, I would wheelie. You know, it, it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, cause there's two wheels and, and I guess, I don't know, I, I, I'm just, I don't want to fuck this up. And I, and I know that I drop my quad a lot and like the dirt bikes that I previously had were two stroke dirt bikes, which, um, if you guys are not into, uh, the motorcycle, I'm sure you guys all are into motorcycles. Why else would you be watching this shitty fucking dialogue of bullshit if you weren't into motorcycle riding so uh yeah two strokes have a lot more torque than a four stroke and i used to have like a yz80 or some shit when i was a little kid i was like oh there goes the rings and pistons fucking seals i need seals and shit on a two stroke you can pop a wheelie at will in almost every single gear because there's just so much torque that you wouldn't even need to pop the clutch because it just wants to like and be crazy and shit. Your old Honda Grom, uh, Barrett doesn't really have a lot of torque whatsoever. In order to pop a wheelie, I was watching these videos online. There's this other kid that does, uh, I don't think he has the Honda Grom anymore. I think he might have sold it. He's like, you know, you gotta like dump the clutch, balance your ass and shit. And I'm just like, ah, fuck. I'm watching this kid. He like dropped it a couple times. And I'm like, I don't have body protectors and shit on the Grom. So I'm like somewhat nervous to like drop it and fuck the whole thing up. And it's like, ah, shit. Yeah, last episode, I was off roading and shit. And, uh,. <laughs> I, uh, I was blowing through, through a field going probably like 25, 30 miles an hour, which doesn't seem like a lot when you're on the street, but when you're on dirt, it's much different. And, uh, all of a sudden out of nowhere, oh, they changed these tracks nice and smooth. Um, out of nowhere, I see this giant hole and being a two, an X two stroke rider, my instinct was to stand up keep my knees bent and give it some throttle and and, and uh, like some torque throttle and it would just kind of you know lift the front wheel over and and the back wheel just go through and be like bang, 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 bang. and uh <laughs> it didn't do that it would just nose dive right in the front fender um didn't get damaged although i thought it did uh what i did was i just bottomed the fuck out of the front forks and <laughs> it, it made a violent noise and I, and what happened was there's like this little kind of like schlop on the knob uh, protector thing on the exhaust shield and uh, the header of the exhaust which is the pipe that comes from the engine and attaches to the can that makes all this noise what happened was yeah I, I just I my front shocks bottomed out and then that thing hit the ground and it like but no damage just a lot of dirt all up in this shit where i'm going right now is i'm going to the gym 
a little later than usual because uh, my dad is uh, out of his goddamn mind. Brian Poppin. Like Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins' older brother who uh, was a cokehead and um, got addicted to meth, but then he decided that he was, wasn't going to do that anymore and uh, he was going to go to the church and uh, become Jesus' right hand man, which would make him his father the son he would make God's left testicle <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about no Brian Poppins I have no fucking idea who Brian Poppins is <laughs> did you hear that I did that on purpose <laughs> I love skidding the back breakout on this thing I'm getting a little ballsy with the grom like I, like you know normal people wouldn't just come to a light and and jam on the back brake to make it fucking skid out and shit. Don't you dare, you little motherfucker. Oh no, it's a skunk. No, no. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. It tastes like a Mexican's fucking grundle. Oh. Beach traffic? Oh, that's the best part about this time of the year. No beach traffic, man. I don't know if you guys live near a beach. September is the best time because all the fucking assholes that drive around and come to the beach are gone because school starts. It's like, oh, I'm back at school. Because my ass and my anus. Oh, fuck, man. I was getting really fucking ballsy and I saw these little kids and they all were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had been like fucking with me at, uh, pre at previous lights and uh, so I came up I came in hot and I was like, oh, I'm gonna jam the front brake and, and do like a, a stoppy or an endo or whatever the fuck you guys are calling it nowadays. And I had jammed on the brake and almost went over the handlebars. Like, I, it came up on me and I was like, oh yeah, fucking, yeah, Tony Hawk, pro skater, shit. I don't know how that's relevant, but yeah. So I fucking jammed the brake, flipped the front up, and I was like, oh, shit. I'm like jamming on the back brake, think it's going to do something, and I'm like, oh, 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 oh. I was like humping, humping the bike to try to get it down, and just, it came down so violently, smacked my nads, and I was just like, well, and I'm not going to do that again, and then like, Five minutes later, I saw the same kids. I did it again, and, and uh, it, it, it came out really stupid and pansy-like because I was nervous I was going to flip over the handlebars. <laughs> I like that Audi S6, baby. Today ended up being a lot nicer than the forecast the, the, the forecast had planned. I, I think that those people... I missed my calling. Should have been a weatherman because uh, I, didn't do, I didn't do too fad and tagulous in, uh, in school. And uh, actually, what happened was pretty shitty. Um, and I'd be like, well, my dog's grandmother ate my homework. The point that I was trying to get to before I just went on a fucking rant was weatherman or weather woman or weather m people nine out of ten times just fucking rant like guessing out of their ass i think they don't know what the fuck is gonna happen and it's like they're one of the only jobs outside of baseball because if y'all are into baseball you know that you can be considered one of the best players in 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 all of sports um and all you need to do, you could fail seven out of ten times. It's the only sport that you'll be considered a Hall of Famer if you fail seven out of ten times. And if you don't know what I mean, if you have a 300 batting average, uh, you know, on average, that's very, very good career-wise. 300 is, 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 uh, is pretty decent. Anyways, weathermen are even worse than that. They could just get up there and be like, well... Um, I think it's gonna rain, but it looks like it's sunny and uh, possible chances of snow, hail, and uh, flying dildos. And, you know, they'll get one of them right and be like, well, there you go. Backing it up. See you later. I'm gonna go hang out with my girlfriend on the beach. Love to do that job because, uh, you know, they, they don't need to be right. They look at, they are not telling you anything other than you would find on weather.com. They're like, they look at the, the thing and they see clouds and like, well, there's a 30% uh, chance of rain um, and clouds. 
And then let me, hold on, let me click on the precipitation percent. Oh, there is a 25% chance of precipitation. Oh, this guy's walking sassy as Yeah, so I should have been a weatherman. I would have had a great time. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, enjoy this nice weather if you're from the area. If you're not from the area, you can go and fucking jam it. Anyways, have a great day. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And go follow my uh, Instagram and shit. At Capamura. C-A-P-P-A-M-U-R-A. Yeah. See you later. I got this soul.